on our way to Fairhope, Alabama, going through the tunnel. This is the tunnel that leads to Fairhope. What a beautiful place. I love you. I give you everything you want me to. Think about it. A lot of spice to it. Started off a little spice. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're in Fairhope, Alabama. Little coastal towns on Mobile Bay. You can buy something to eat. I would say probably the most popular things is we do a firecracker shrimp taco. We make all of our sauces homemade here. Make make everything to order. Do you have swordfish? Is we do have you? we do have swordfish tonight. And then we'll mix bacon, blue cheese crumbles, and our avocado vinaigrette together as a topping. And then we'll do a fried swordfish on top of that. Our cops that we see, I would say general bar over there, specialized bar over there. Hey, how you doing? Uh, definitely the tacos is what we're known for. The uh, firecracker shrimp is really popular. That's what he mentioned. As well as the Kung Pao chicken and the five spice duck. We got the tacos because you get little bites yeah. of a lot of different things. So we actually got a lot of food from beef tacos to the swordfish and the duck. So it was a lot of food though. Just heard on Tuesdays and Wednesdays they have a two dollar taco. Right. Perfect to check that out. After 5 o'clock. After, after 5 o'clock. Not right. after 5 o'clock. So. But we have aged wagyu beef and seared salmon. That's it. <laughs> That's the real yeah, deal right that there. Real. It's great. Smell. Smell. What? Garlic. <laughs> Smell garlic. So the steak is aged 28. Eight days. 58. I see tomatoes. 58 days. F 58 days. 58 days. <laughs> so it's got red um, onions. It has chopped tomatoes. And of course, it's a warm, soft taco. And look, it's filled, filled to the brim. I don't know if I can. Uh, can you feel it? I don't want to lose any of it. Oh, yeah. Mm. Melt to your mouth, steak. It's like packed full. Whoa. Whoa. Good, good save. Got a little spice. A little. Oh, it's got a lot of spice to it. Started off a little spice. <laughs> so we kind of split it up. We ate inside and outside. It's a little specialty bar they have. Really nice, beautiful day. Swordfish. Yeah. With a special coleslaw. I am looking forward to eating that. Spicy, there's a batter on it that's spicy, and the starfish is really light and meaty. Really meaty. Coleslaw oh, is cool, slightly salty, and, and sweet too. Good, so good. <laughs> this is what they're famous for. What is it? This is a spicy shrimp. Oh, Coleslaw yeah. again, with a little bit of red cabbage on top. It's supposed to be a really spicy um, shrimp. Number one taco place by BuzzFeed. And this is their number one seller. It's sweet and spicy. The sweet and spicy, not, not like sweet and spicy Chinese food that you know of. And the crispy crunchiness of the outside of the, of the shrimp. It's got like a batter. It's like a cornmeal batter. Another winner. I think it has Chinese five spice in it. Ah. Uh. Speaking of Chinese fried rice, duck. A duck taco. This is duck, Chinese five spice duck. And it's very heavy. It's heavy and it feels totally a lot heavier 
then the shrimp and the swordfish. Looks like there's like a barbecue sauce maybe on top. It's very heavy and dense and feels kind of gooey. Standout flavor in that Chinese bad spice for sure. It's dripping. It's dripping dripping. onto the shrimp, which is not a bad thing. The house wants three dollars at the hour. Wow. How happy am I? <laughs> That's the man. <laughs> That's the man who makes all the magic happen yeah, here. The magic man. The shrimp is probably the number one seller. The reason for that is the, I think, the duck, the oiliness, and the, and the meatiness, which is why I like that. And the swordfish is probably the third. But that being said, third is still a winner. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go order some more food. All right. Here it is. Look at that. Edamati seared tuna. It's got a little of that sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I see the spicy sauce. Yeah. Seared to perfection. Oh, yeah. It's really fresh tuna. The edamati just crispy and crunchy on top. Two. Two, Two more winners. Two. Two. Eat first. <laughs> so this is their two dollar special on Tuna. Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Today. All right. So today is the pork. Okay. Uh, it's got a little spicy background. All right. Let's Wait. check it out. Two dollars, two gumbo. All right. It's all mine. <laughs> Ooh, it's got a spice on it. <laughs> this is my friend Mary. Hey, Mary. These kids. Oh, Kim. 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 This is James. James. And he's an artist. And they do a professional YouTube channel. And I've been watching them with the camera all the time since we part. And now they're telling me what we're doing. And I'm trying to tell them how cool we are. <laughs> we are cool. We are cool. We are cool. I see this crowd of people on a Wednesday night. So much fun. This is the place to be on Wednesday night. Yep. Highly recommend it. And the, and the happy hour. Happy hour. Two dollar tacos, three dollar glass of wine, and it's like amazing. Yeah, super good. And they, they had flowers on all the street corners. Remember that? Um, it's just. It was just beautiful. Almost sad to go home. It's a park. It's got a fountain. There are people walking, jogging. There's dogs and back yeah. to Louisiana. Yeah. Back to the tunnel. It's like you're leaving Oz and going back to the real world. If you like the video. Hit a, give, us a, give us a thumbs up, share, and hit subscribe. Well, did you have a good time? I had a wonderful time. Oh, good. So did I. We ended up eating seven things there. We had the aged uh, Wagyu beef, the seared salmon, the uh, swordfish, spicy shrimp, fly spice duck, seared tuna. I don't know if there's really anything Mexican except they were tacos. <laughs> We gotta say goodbye. Okay, everybody. Okay, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Bye.